A very good morning to everyone. This is Dr. Mama Ghazal. And today in this video, we will talk about the significance of healthy environment in your workplace. Because uh, there is no exact definition of a healthy environment in a workplace. But by attaining or by accepting some of the basic thoughts and some of the basic factors, we can make that workplace in healthy and uh, happy. So in that, like when maintaining a positive work environment, which will help to boost employee morale, retention and productivity. So these are the basic facts by which we can make this very uh, good, happy place so that we can get the output in a very positive manner. And improving your uh, any organizational work or place, good environment, which includes employees uh, space and privacy to do their work, making the office more comfortable and improving communication. So the this is all about uh, this video will give you an idea about uh, the significance or the importance of the uh, environment, healthy environment, positive environment, happy environment uh, in your workplace. So now what will be the first fact when we are uh, trying to make a place better workplace? So for that, the most important thing is that like hire positive people. Means you don't hire for skills, you hire for attitude because you can always teach skills, but you cannot teach attitude. So when you are hiring for a new position uh, offer a special attention to the personality, when their skill well their skills are also very important and a negative person will kill the productivity and motivation and when employees work with unmotivated colleagues they are more likely to become unmotivated themselves so this is very uh, important that whenever you are hiring people or hiring a team so you should hire the people who are having the positive vibes positive attitude and good personality so uh, when you are building a company culture of positivity, you must find positive people and maintain an established culture of positivity. It takes maintenance and but can be one of the most important quality of your company or organization. So creating a better workplace often involves common sense, tact and empathy. Seeing your employees as human instead of business tools is the key. And hiring a very good team members and don't be afraid to let ineffective ones go. So uh, another fact is that like uh, improving the team. How uh, means you can improve the team? Because once the team will be improved, when the people are having the good bonding between each other, then the productivity will enhance. And when there is no uh, good bonding, among the people of a team member of any department, organization, institute, then there will be no good output. So in that way, like in team bonding activities are always a nice way to improve the relationship in that team. Any team uh, fun or relaxing activities like a day at the amusement park, a movie in the afternoon with popcorn and candy and chair massages and Anything which you can think to make people feel that you are doing something nice for them and will make people happier and closer to each other. Because this kind of uh, uh, means uh, activities will develop the feeling among the team members that they care about each other and the work efficiency will enhance. Also having a company initiatives that make a difference will make people feel connected to the greater good. Take a poll, find out what people care about and get their opinions on how best to accomplish those goals. When you're working in a team, positive thinking is also very important. Even when you did not achieve the result you anticipated, positive thinking will eventually bring positive outcomes. Another factor is that sometimes it's better to encourage some selfish thinking. Because selfish thinking will also motivate people to do work in a very different way with a good success and there will be a healthy competition among the team members. So while bonding and creating a strong team is very important, but do not forget that 
you are a company or an organization you have goals you are having the targets you are having the tasks which you have to complete according to the time limit and you are having the business competitors as well so this is why your employees need to be team players but also strive for their personal improvement personal grooming which eventually brings growth for the company and having personal career goals will also help your company your team and make your employees happier because when you are developing this kind of a you know, selfish thinking or encouraging the selfish thinking so what will be happen that you will get exploration uh, you will get explore new things new ideas innovations then you will try to learn that and after that growth will definitely come on your way and this will help for the production and for the positive environment in your workplace now these are the basic five leadership skills which are very important to enhance a good healthy environment the first very basic skill is that communication that communication will be a like positive communication which can be uh, means when you are uh, discussing some topics discussing about the environment discussing about the product how to enhance the productivity how to enhance uh, the work efficiency so in that way positive communication is very important and second is motivation when you are a boss when you are uh, means uh, uh, office boss when your colleagues when your uh, team members are encouraging you then it is eventually it uh, develops in you that you are going to do something they are, they are showing positivity they are giving you a positive attitude positive environment so that gives you motivation to do something well positivity every time you should be stay positive even though you are not getting the results on the same time whatever you were expecting but that positivity and when you are staying positive then you will achieve something and then result will come later or sooner creativity because creativity is also very important like these are the leadership skills when you are more creative when you are then creativity will enhance your thinking and you are trying to do something in a innovation innovative way and then to give feedback whether it will be the positive feedback or the negative feedback but do try to give the feedback so that it will encourage people and it will feedback negative feedback like when you are trying to tell people or your uh, team members or your uh, means uh, uh, colleagues that uh, this kind of a work can be enhanced in that way then it will be more easy way and more understandable so these are the basic leadership skills which everybody has should possess and these are the things by which you can you know, enhance the healthy environment in your workplace and uh, this this are these are the basic skills which you can see like learning knowledge competence training growth ability and experience when you are getting the healthy environment your learning will enhance your knowledge will eventually you will get more knowledge your experience will increase you are having the ability to do work in a better way your growth will be self defined you are you are getting training on various uh, things which you are not uh, thinking earlier so in that way and you are having the good competition that i want to do this thing in a very good way so these are the basic things which everybody should uh, understand and should uh, focus on that so that we can get a very healthy good and happy environment in the workplace apart from that the communication motivation positivity these uh, topics i will discuss in my next video in detail so uh, now for now i am concluding this video if you like this then please do subscribe my channel and like and share thank you